All right, buddy, so they come in the case. Here's the anchors that came with them if you need to put them in a deck. Uh, I think, uh, you know, until we run one of them once or twice, um, we'll get comfortable with them. The other ones went in and turn around and look back, but, you know, the, the key is, you got, they said it compressed the tire about an inch. I don't even think I did that, but... <clears throat> This is using the existing tie downs. Now I gotta figure out what to do with this stuff. I'll get a strap or something. I'll just tie them off. Um, the excess. I was concerned there wasn't gonna be enough. There's plenty. That one's pushed down pretty good, but if you give them a shake, the whole trailer moves. So um seeing a little compression in the tire, but that, that quad's not moving. So next run this is the way we're gonna go yours will go you know one of them will go right here just split the difference and it kind of looks like this now i could have probably been over a little bit more that way to the right but yeah the only concern i had in the front you just got when you're tying them down i like the angle of this one better um because it's pulling down a little better but uh in the front, we gotta watch our brake lines right there. See, this one's missing it completely. It's not even touching the brake line, but uh, the back, we're good. I guess you're all meeting up. I'd just say, swing on over and take a look, or I could even drive over, load yours on. We got time to do that till November. Sorry about the long video. That's kind of what it looks like. So, just want to see if you're satisfied with it before I bust open the other case. Because I'd send these bitches back. They weren't cheap. But, yeah, super clamp. And then we'll deal with this mess down here. I just tied it off right there. But yeah, there's no drilling in the trailer or anything at this point yet. Whole trailer's moving. Quarter quad rocks. <clears throat> 